today, we've decided to honor a local soldier who gave his life in the line of duty. A U.S. helicopter was shot down in Afghanistan, killing 30 Americans, including 22 Navy SEALs. 30 American troops were killed when a Chinook helicopter was shot down this weekend. The Taliban quickly claimed responsibility for today's attack. The majority of those killed in this incident are believed to be U.S. Navy SEALs. Kevin Houston, a Cape Cod native, was among those killed. He left behind a wife and three kids. Kevin Houston made his mark at Barnstable High School a number of years ago, captain of the football and the basketball teams. He graduated in 1994 and determined to become a Navy SEAL. He's just a courageous kid, um, fought through some adversity as a kid, and, and truly came out uh, as a hero. You know, I just always thought, you know, Kevin was just such a scrapper that, he, you know, no matter what situation he got in, he'd be able to get out. I'm here at Barnstable High School with some of Kevin's best friends from growing up, Jess, Katie, and Kaylin. The gals and I sat down to chat a little bit about Kevin, his life, and the impact he had on those around him growing up. That guy you saw talking about Kevin in the news clip, that's Joe. He's been Kevin's best friend since he moved to Barnstable in fifth grade. The story goes that the first day Kevin came to school, he was partnered up with Joe and introduced himself by telling Joe that his name was Kevin and he was going to be a Navy SEAL. Yeah, I believe Joe said, I don't know what a Navy SEAL is. Yeah, I think Joe is exactly what Joe said. I didn't know what a Navy SEAL was back in fifth grade, but he did. Okay, what was it you guys remember first meeting him in fifth grade or in fifth grade? Upon graduating high school, Kevin signed up with the Navy and eventually became a member of SEAL Team 6. In case you haven't heard of them before, these are the soldiers they sent in to get Osama bin Laden. Often referred to as Black Operatives, SEAL Team 6 is the Special Forces unit the government reserves for the most important and dangerous missions. Yet for all the action Kevin saw over the years, they say he never changed a bit. I mean, I saw him back in the middle of his home, and it's like he's still like the nicest person in the world. He'd come home for reunions and over the summer, it wasn't anything he ever talked about. Kevin met his wife, Mei Ling, when he was stationed in California. He quickly became the father of Mei Ling's son, Michael, and they had two kids of their own, Ethan and Gina. And the sad thing is he always said, he never wanted to be Ethan because Gina grew up with her dad, Michael. Since his death, Kevin's community has rallied. They've organized a 5K road race in honor of Kevin and his sister Miranda, who died in 2005 of ovarian cancer. All the money raised is going directly to Kevin's family. As always, I'm starting it off, okay? <laughs> Throw in what you got, it doesn't matter if it's a lot or a little, but it's all going to Kevin's family. Let's give a little back to him. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all like the video?